Alright, I just put two Berserker and two Infernal accessories on my Oculus Owl. That gives 20% extra range bonus. For a bit of a comparison, what is the max hit now on a non-proc? 77, I'm not fully potted over. Stop proccing! Oh wow, it actually hit 125. It also double hit, holy fuck. Um, no, stop proccing, Jesus! Okay, so it's an 80 with the Cursed Wraith, and it becomes a 78 with the Oculus R. So that's a 2 max hit difference, which ain't shit, really. And you get 20% more ranged accuracy, so I think the way to go is with the Oculus Owl. We're gonna do a little test on Zora, and I wanna... I'll do like 3 kills of each. 3 kills with the Heavy Ballista and 3 kills with the Armored Hill Crossbow, and we'll just get a bit of a uh, comparison, like what are the kill times. Both times off task, no served on helm, just this gear set up, nothing changes except for the weapon. I already hit 103, but I didn't record it. This is not that bad. I was hitting a few zeros at the start, but look at these consistent hits. I mean, honestly, compared to some other options out there, I, I don't think it's that crazy. Just kind of satisfying to see high hits and stuff. But what's gonna matter is the actual kill time, and then compared to the Gravity Ballista, the Ballista is just really fucking good, to be fair. Like, I was gonna make it a hard comparison. Now it's finally a Mage Phase, that should be lower range death technically. Come on, show me some big hits. Doesn't have a special attack either, which I find a bit of a shame. Uh, yeah, no, wait, actually, the Elder Zemi Spear does have a spec. It's just a Dragon Spear spec, but... Would be nice if Armadillo Crossbow, you know, remained its normal special attack, where it does a little bolt proc or some shit like that. This is not a fast kill by any means, no. 1 minute and 19 seconds. Pretty damn slow. I know the Tebow can do absolutely ridiculous things here, but... To be fair, it's only one kill. Let's do the other two and uh, have a little bit of a comparison. Alright, second kill. 1 minute 19. With the exact same time, Jesus Christ. Alright, this one felt really quick in comparison. 52 seconds. Okay, okay, it's a lot better. Let's do three kills with the Ballista just to get a fair comparison. I won't be using the special attack though. To be fair, if I were to do this legitimately with the ACB, I would still probably use uh, Ballista specs anyway. And since I didn't, I want to keep it fair and only use the Ballista without any specials. But right off the bat, the hits are fucking insane. Yeah, I'm pretty fucking sure this was much faster. 43 seconds on the first one, goddamn. I also am not entirely sure how the Elder Armadillo Crossbow works, like... I was talking about the potential to hit like a double 80. Maybe you can. Maybe that second bolt it can shoot out is like a percentage of your first hit, or between 1 and 15, like the Elder Zemi Spear. I don't know. I genuinely don't. So it might not be as great as I thought it was. I did hit like 112. I might be able to hit like up to 130 or 140 maybe, but it just doesn't hit that too often. Whereas the Ballista is really consistent, really fast and really high hits. Yeah, second kill, let's see the time. 40 seconds, this is, this is almost unfair. I'm not even specking right now and it's just annihilating it compared to the Elder Armor Crossbow. Ah, I really wish it was more. Look at this. There's a 25 ranged strength difference as well, but oh right, to be fair, the, the bolts count, right? I don't know, man. If I were to use the specs on top of it, okay, well, it's an RNG thing, but look at that, 170, just like that. You can get such fast kills with the bliss. I mean, this is probably the best in slot range weapon as it is. So it, it might be an unfair comparison, except for the Tebow, Tebow being best in slot, cursed Tebow with Twisted Pendant, but even so, for how long it takes to get an item like this, it's damn, yeah, I find it hard to judge, I genuinely do. It's not bad, it's just not great either, but I also don't think it should be too absolutely amazing, I guess. Maybe a more fair comparison would be like the Abyssal Crossbow, but... If I put this item in the bank, does it give a description of what it does? Nah, it doesn't. Okay, yes, I looked it up, and it says each hit has a 1 in 4 chance to send a tornado to your opponent, 
dealing an extra 1 to 15 damage. It cannot double the max hit or anything like it, it's just 1 to 15 extra damage, just like the other Elder items, unfortunately. So like if I grab an Abyssal crossbow, has a 25% chance to fire two shots directly. I kind of thought it would be like that. I heard this thing is absolutely busted in PvP though, but I don't really care about that, PKing is kind of doo doo on here. Yeah, the regular max hit is just the same, normal, but it should have a chance to double hit like right there, already in 86, 127 max with the uh, bolt proc. Question is, if you have a double bolt thingy, like does it actually increase the max hit or not? That's what I can't tell right now. And the bolt procs are fun and all. Okay, right there. 6335. So that already seems better than the Elder Armadale crossbow. Once again, I thought it was a cool item from the Elder God Wars, which it is, but it is a bit of a letdown, honestly. Elder uh, Zemi Spear is just so fucking good compared to everything else. I find it such a shame. I really wish these items were better than they were outside of PvP. But they aren't. I get it. It's very AFK to get, but still a little, little tiny, eeny, meeny, peeny, poony, peedy, peedy, disappointed with how this played out. Well, I think we've done enough testing with it. It's a fun little item, just not absolutely stunning by any means. Ah, well then guys, it's currently a Wednesday and I'm leaving in a few hours like I've mentioned before. I was gone all day yesterday as well. Uh, what I have been doing for the last while is doing some summer tokens to try and get as close as I can to completing it. Kind of forgot about it before today. I was gonna try and get at least the entire tier 1 chest done, but at the end of the day it doesn't seem like I'll be able to. I was hoping to get a few mystery chests with prize keys to open those, but... I don't think I'm gonna be able to, I'm leaving very soon and I still gotta like pack all my shit. So yeah, that's a bit unfortunate, but at least I got all of that stuff which kinda gave me shit. Oh well, it is what it is. Can't wait to come back and uh, hopefully by then the update will be out as well. Looking forward to it. Eh, I should have done more clears, but I'll buy the solar and lunar icon. I kinda wanted the dusk one, but that would require an additional 5 summer events points which would have been two more full clears. There's no way I would have done that. I kind of should have in hindsight, but yeah, fuck that right now. Oh my, I had four more rolls and it actually gave two prize keys and two mystery chests. That is what I was looking for. God damn. Let's see what we get from two mystery chests. Bada bing. Oh yeah, that is pretty horrific. How much is that? Not even a single announcement. Pathetic, 1k. And the second one though, oh, my inventory kind of flooded. There we go. Wow, an amulet of torture. That's crazy. Well, that's a little better, 1.5k. So a total of 2.6k rune coins. Wow. And the last few rolls were not as good. Oh, cursed orb from my uh, inbox. Did I already have that in my log? I know that's a log now because of the recent VIP boxes. No, I already had it. Damn. When do I ever get a Zebo or a fucking uh, four bolt staff, you know? And those kind of items. Two sacred tokens ain't too shabby though, but they're quite a bit off. I need to get the uh, four bolt staff, 40 and 30 Karazi sword or for uh, Goba. So a total of 70 sacred tokens. That will give 10k, 10k, plus an additional 30 for the log or another Karazi, so 30k rune coins. Well, that's not gonna happen until we're back from holiday though. I'm calling it quits here and I'll see you guys on Friday. Alright then guys, I think it's about damn time we start going hard on this brand new update. Because it just came out, I just finished recording my update video covering all of that good stuff. Now it's about damn time we start going hard for real, for real. Um, so yeah, during the update video, for those of you who missed it, I already got a task on all of the uh, difficulties from the Wandering Merchant. My elite task, which is required to get the uh, Chess and Quaker Scroll, is Crest Bear Plate Legs. I have a spare, uh, spare pair that I could sacrifice, however I'm gonna wait a little bit first. MGI Goba currently has the task to sacrifice uh, a Koda Necklace, which is also an option, I could totally do that as well. 
But before we do that, I'm gonna check out the other guys as well, except for Mr. Because I think Mr. wants to do his own test and I'm sure he'll enjoy that just as much as me. So we're just gonna do the alt account basically. This guy wants a master luck accessory. There's no fucking way in hell I'm sacrificing a master luck. There's just no, 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 no way. Because that shit is rare as fuck. Value wise, that one is insanely good. Like really, really good. But I'm not sacrificing a master luck accessory. I only have one of those. And they are incredibly, incredibly, incredibly hard to come by. Let's check out MGI Master LV as well. Hopefully he could get a really easy elite. Somehow like a spare Inquisitor piece. So I could get my scroll on this account. A Dark Sun Spear. Yeah, get the fuck out of here. I'm not doing that. <laughs> I'm pretty sure uh, Goba made a little bit of progression already as well on his tasks. Let's see what all of them are. Oh, yeah, 27 Nature on his easy ones. Mediums were 14 Onyxes. I'm pretty sure we don't have enough for that or I'm not sure if I want to do that. Four Grand Crests on the hard one. That's pretty rough. But I'll, uh, you, you can have this one. <laughs> we just sacrificed an Arcane Street Necklace. We only had two of those. And I drop traded the third one because I will never need a third one. We only have one cursed Kodai anyway, which is also the reason why I'm sacrificing the second one. I'll be doing so much fucking raids in the upcoming times that like I ain't even worried about it. So we can buy the Chasm Quaker scroll with that and we should be able, I fucking hope. <laughs> oh god, imagine if you can't. Oh, okay, we can trade it. So with that... MGI Raymond will now be able to unlock the Chasm Quaker. There we go, you have unlocked the ability to fight the Chasm Quaker boss. Now, am I still gonna sacrifice Crestbear legs? Fuck yes I am. <laughs> because I want the points! The blessing is 5.5k, I'm gonna have to sacrifice a lot of shit for that in the upcoming times and all the alt accounts except for me and Mr. do not play enough for me to not sacrifice that item. So what else did I need? A Karazi sword? I need it... Uh, for the medium skiller tokens, I can try and do the medium one. Well, damn, I barely have enough. <laughs> 109k of these. Medium, was it? 25 Dragon Halberd. Why? Why Dragon Halberd? I've rune coined all of those. <laughs> oh, no, I haven't. I haven't rune coined all of those. Lucky me. Trade those in and then 103 skiller tokens again? What? Wait. Skilling task tokens. Oh. Oh. Do we have those? We have those. <laughs> well, that, that's a pretty good medium. Awesome. Yeah, that's another one done. Well, damn, I really wanted to try and get the Karasi and Goba's account, but we're three sacred tokens off. Ironically, one of my tasks is to kill five Grand Titans. And this is ironic because I need to kill sacred Titans for that, which has a chance of dropping sacred tokens at 1 in 133. But what was the key drop rate? 1 in 100? Yeah. And then the Grand Titan also has a chance to drop 5 of them at 1 in 13. It could be possible to get those. But right now I really don't fucking want to do that. I want to check out the new Chasm Quaker boss of course. Um, I'm pretty sure the other ones was like Ninja Implings that I ain't gonna catch right now. And some other bullshit. <laughs> I ain't gonna bother with that, but uh, definitely not able to do the other task right now. I think we're gonna go try some gear setups and try out the Chasm Quaker boss, because apparently it's pretty damn good. Also, there's one more thing. Goba yesterday did the Mythic Zone for the first time ever. Um, just try and get some Mythic tokens, he wants to unlock the 2.5% uh, and blah blah blah. And he managed to get a Dragon Play Buddy and he said I could have it, because I needed that to make another Draconic Play Buddy with the spare lump that I had in the bank. So that's really nice as well, that's an additional 3.5k rune coins. However, fuck rune coins at the moment, I might need that in the future for uh, some sort of task. I'm gonna wait till Monday because right now I'm not gonna have too much time. Like, right, this thing, the Wandering Merchant, resets in 2 days and 21 hours. If I were to do the hard task right now, which is sacrificing a Karasi's sword, I might get an item that I'm not able to get in just two days time on the second one. Or even if I do, the third one might be too hard to obtain within two days time. Not truly worth the gamble at the moment I would say, so I'm gonna leave that for what it is. I might end up finishing the easy one, cause that's like six ninja emblems was it? That should be doable, just takes a little bit of time, but yeah. Oh, we've all not too shabby.